channel I'm Selena and today I brought you guys a smoky eye incorporating my favorite color purple uh, I was a little inspired by these beautiful earrings they were a gift from my grandma so I decided to take the gold in them so that I had an excuse to wear them so I put a nice um, gold shimmer on the inner corner and then really smoked it out into a sort of purple cat eye so if you guys like this look and you guys want to know how to get it then just keep watching so first we're going to start off with putting a little tape up at an angle, ending it under the tail of our brow. After that I'm going to spritz my brush with a little bit of a facial setting spray and then dip it into a gold colored eyeshadow. I'm just using an old eyeshadow that I've had for like ever. Use anything you guys find. Um, but just a gold shadow and then just pack it on half of the lid. We're not going to go too crazy or worry about how pigmented the color comes off because it's going to be getting lost in all the blending and we're going to have to keep going back and adding the gold here and there. After that, we're going to take a gel liner, and the reason we're using gel is because it's going to be like a creamy base so that when we go to put the dark purple on top, the purple is going to stand out much more. So take the gel liner and put it at an angle. The tape is going to ensure that you don't get messy, but just kind of extend it outwards towards the end of your brow and bring it in halfway through the lid, and then take it up on the other half of your crease that we did where we didn't put the gold try not to exceed your crease try not to go up too high and keep it at a curved angle after that we're going to pick up a purple shadow and we're just going to cover the entire area where we place down that black gel and as you see the color is going to be very intense and stand out very much just keep buffing it back and forth covering the entire area where you had placed the black and please remember once again not to exceed your crease and keeping it low but keeping it nice and blended it kind of is going to look a little messy but I promise you guys the end result is going to look great just keep going and don't worry you can get a little sloppy because like I said you have that tape guiding you there and once we take it off it's going to be a nice clean line so if you get a little bit onto the tape that's perfectly fine like I said, just keep buffing it back and forth, back and forth, and then you can take a fluffy bunding brush here and there in between if you feel like the lines are starting to get any, you know, a little bit messy or crazy. Here you see me going back in with a little bit of the gold. That step isn't optional because we are going to continue going in with the gold. Now keep going back and forth and then we're going to peel off the tape and voila you have a nice clean line like I promised. Now I'm going to go back into that brush that I was using to create the gel liner and I'm going to dip it into the purple. It still has a little black on it so it's actually keeping the um, tail end of the cat eye really nice and sharp. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit more of a fluffier brush. It's still very dense so it's still going to pack on a lot of color and I'm just going to continue to go over and over until I have the desired color. Um, effect on the eye. So I'm just once again, I'm using, if anybody's interested, the purple from the Electric Urban Decay palette. Um, here you're going to see me going in with a blending brush and a little bit of MAC Soft Brown. You can literally use any brown you have and brown is a really, a very light brown, is a very good color to blend out purples or pinks. And then I'm going to take gel liner and I'm going to create a cat eye. Now, I don't want you guys to worry about getting this cat eye too precise because the reason I used a gel liner in place of a liquid liner is because we're going to be placing shadow on top to make the liner look like a deep purple and not black. If you have a purple liner, that'll work better. I just didn't have one. So I just went in with a little bit of gel and a little bit of liquid to make it dark and then you're going to see me pick up a brush and just pack on purple eyeshadow over the liner where we had placed it. So you're going to see me go all the way into the inner corner, try not to mix it too much with the gold, but just making our liner a nice deep plum purple. You're going to see me pick up a brush and keep going in back and forth, and it's only because I'm just going to continue building up the intensity of the color as I go. I had once told you guys to it's better to start off with a little bit of color and build up as opposed to having too much and then not having a way out of it. Here I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara because we are going to be applying falsies on. And here I am using Kiss Blooming Lashes. And this is in the style Peony, I believe, or Pony. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I'm just placing them on and letting the glue get tacky. Um, a tip when you're putting on false lashes is to put on the glue and wait about 30 seconds for the glue to get a little bit sticky and tacky. Place them on. My recommendation is in the center and then use a tweezer to sort of pin them down on the outer corner and then on the inner corner. And then don't forget to cover it up with a little bit of liner uh, covering up the lash band and the lash glue. After that I'm going to pick up a sort of opal, very iridescent pale white color to highlight the brow bone. 
Now we're going to move into the face. I just primed the face with a little bit of Maybelline's baby skin like always. You guys know it's my favorite primer. And then I'm going to pick up the L'Oreal um, Infallible 24-Hour Pro Matte Foundation. And this time I'm applying it with my hands. I found that it works better with my hands. Please make sure your hands are clean though. And just rub it all over in you know sort of outward circular motions and I guess it works in the sense of where the warmth of my fingers kind of lets it just melt into my skin but I find that it looks very natural when I put it on with my hands as opposed to a brush and then I just go over it with a beauty blender because a beauty blender will pick up any excess product if you know there was a little bit too much caked around the nose or anywhere it's really just going to pick that up and then just let your you know foundation look very nice and natural on the skin after that, I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer. I'm using Maybelline Adria Wine, and then I picked up a brighter one, the Taste Shade Lighter by NARS, and I placed it right below that. And today we're just going to highlight because with such dark, heavy eyes, I really want to make sure that under our eyes doesn't get shadowed by that and look dark or gray or or black and blue from, you know, having dark circles. So I made sure to really, really brighten it up today and then just blend it in with a mixture of the Beauty Blender and then just a Real Techniques brush. So at first I'm going to put a little bit of banana powder to set the concealer and then I'm going to go ahead and bake, meaning I'm going to take a lot of powder and place it on the areas where we had previously highlighted because today I want to go for that Barbie perfect skin look. I really want this to be very matte and kind of the opposite of the look that I did last week which was dewy skin. After that I'm going to go into my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to pick up on a big fluffy brush my bronzer and I'm going to bronze my cheekbones, the temple of my forehead. Uh, this is nothing really new. This is what I have been doing in my previous tutorials. It's pretty much the same thing, putting it on the cheeks and on the temples like I said and then after that we're going to pick up the gray toned brown and I'm going to pick that on an angled brush and put that directly in the hollows of my cheeks and that will be our contour shade. Back to baking, I'm going to pick up on a dry beauty blender, banana powder again, and I'm going to put this below the contour. And like I said, this was a tip that we can use where if you feel like you went too low with the contour or it got a little messy, you take a little bit of a light powder and you put it directly below it and you straighten out that line. And we're going to let it sit there for now. We'll come back to it. And now I'm just going to work on the brows. I ran out of the brow pencil that I had been using by NYX. So I went in with a eyeshadow that matches my hair color. That's definitely something you guys can use. Find a nice angled brush. Find a shadow that matches you. And then just fill it in. I sped through this really, really quick because I feel like it's tedious to watch. Um, my brow routine really hasn't changed. And when it does, then I will slow down the videos and go in depth with it. But for now, it's the same as always. I'm just filling them in and giving them a little bit more definition and shape. Now I'm ready to brush away the powder that was baking, so I'm just going to take a stippling brush I believe, yes it's a stippling brush, and I'm going to brush away underneath the eyes where I had heavily packed the powder and underneath my contour. And as you can see we're left with a really nice smooth surface and the baking did its job. So I'm going to pick up a purple blush from the BH Glamorous Brush Palette that I always use. Guys, if you guys can get your hands on a palette like this, it's super convenient for traveling. Now I'm going to run a little bit of a black hole liner in the waterline. And then I'm going to pick up the deep purple that we were using previously and run it in the lower lash line with a flat definer brush. And I'm going to buff it all the way back and forth till almost the inner corner. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to pick up the gold that we had used in the inner corner and really um, concentrate that on the other half of the lash line. After that, I'm going to pick up the same um, opal color that we had used to highlight the brow bone and then just put that in the inner corner and then take another fluffy brush and blend out the uh, purple that we had put in the lower lash line. After that I'm going to coat my lower lashes with a little bit of telescopic mascara. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of a gold bronzy highlighter on my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose. And then after that I'm going to go over it with a beauty blender like always just to make sure that no excess product is sitting on the face.
For lips, I did a lip combo of a Jordana lip liner in the color Pink Love. So I lined the outside of the bottom of my lips, overdrew the top just a little bit to try to make my cupid's bow even, and then went in with Kat Von D's Lasting Liquid Lip in the color Double Bear. Once you complete that final step, we are done with the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for the continuous support. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much.